So there are certain kinds of questions that have answers, like uh, what is the capital of Botswana? Or like what is the largest prime less than a billion? And then there are certain kinds of questions that are too vague, too imprecisely formulated to have correct answers, like what is the meaning of life? Or why is it that things exist? Philosophy is all about uh, addressing questions that lie kind of at the boundary of these two categories. Questions that may at first look as if they are too vague or imprecisely formulated to have answers and trying to make progress towards answering these kinds of questions. It is, to put it in a grand way, it's about exploring the boundaries of the thinkable. The kinds of questions that have interested me and excited me recently have concerned rationality. So uh, many people like to think that they're rational. But what is it to be rational? How hard is it to be rational? I've been developing a view according to which it's much harder than we ordinarily think to be rational. Again, a grand way of putting it is to say that this is the culmination of a 2,000-year-old research program in philosophy, which is aiming to derive requirements of morality from requirements of rationality. I'm a pioneer in the extreme sport of skydive juggling, um, which is which is harder than it sounds. You need very precisely weighted balls. That's in the possible world in which uh, I don't have children. In this world, I do have children. And I spend most of my spare time hanging out with them, which is great, uh, far superior to skydive juggling. 